hello friends welcome to the new tutorial of Vue.js and the Node.js so let's have a look how we are going to implement these things so this is you can saw current operations where we can acquire the customers you can make the test customers and their age submit customers you can their listing and you can also check this one also so the customers are there so you can add multiple customers like i'm going to add this one HHH and they this one 34 submit list and you can see him you can check that's the data is also inserting on the scene okay so let's see how we are going to build this kind of things okay so first of all we have node.js application so we have config where we have the configuration file okay and you can see that we have env.js we have connection for the db and then we have a dbconfig.js where we have added the connection and connect to the database with our model customer model and we have a controller <coughs> which will do all the performing the actions like create find all find by id and find by age update the customer and delete that customer so all the apis you can see that we have mentioned it here then we have a model for creating the models like name age and where is active or inactive then we have a routers then we have a custom routes for customers now creating this one so these are all the rest apis that we need to integrate in the vue.js that we are we have to call in the vue.js okay then we have a server.js which is the main entry file for the node and uh, you can see that we have bypassed the codes origin for the this 4200 port so you can see that the with this is running on the 4200 port whatever the data is coming from this it will bypass this and it will assess the data from the node.js applications okay so we can see that the app router is this okay and uh, the app is listening on that port right so this is basic setup of the node.js where we have used express body parser codes right so this is basically a node.js application that we have done then we have a vue.js client where we have a source okay then we have a main then we uh, what packages we have installed let's have a look on that also so we have installed our packages that is this is a xios view and the view router these things we have installed this npm packages and by default dev dependency would be the cli plugin bebel eslen service in the compiler okay so this this we have to use for the router for to route each and every one okay and the exios for calling the rest apis okay so let's have a look for the routers main file router.js so here you can see that we have a customers list so routes path slash name customers alias customer component that is this and the children component that is customer details and all and there is an add option and there is a search option right on the top of it you can see that where the customers we can add customers let's get all the listings you can see that the more history path is this one name this and it will component will be the customer list okay and when you click on that when we have a customers click on that we have a list of that children so that is by id and the customer details you can see that okay and then we have a add when I click on the this component add component then we have a add customer then we have to search go with the search one then we have a search component so step by step with the go with the customer list component so there is a customer list component where we have rendering or we have uh, here you can see that we have make it a for each loop so where we are get the customer details and customer ID with the customer names okay so this is when i click on that params so it will give you the that result on that okay so here we have a import http common then name is this then we have a retrieve then we have here you can see that the http call request we have done customers okay and whatever the data it is it is going to be console and refresh the list okay mounted this this retrieve data so this here we can see that with the help of the http request we are calling the api and get all the data and bind it here you can see that okay and the same thing that we have in the router.js again with this is for the customer list then we have add customers okay then the, in the add customer view we have again you can see that http common name add customer return customer id name 
and here you can methods which methods save customer so whatever the data we are taking the name and the age and then call the api and the new customer submitted that one <clears throat> so just basically uh, whatever the data we need to take in from here and from the script import http common we're getting the data and send it to the rest api and they will do the rest of the process and getting the data whether it is added or not okay same with the search component over here so whatever we are going to search the customer so you can see the customer's age this dot age we are getting with this one parameter and uh, sending the data and then uh, whether if it is found then according to it we have managed the things okay so this is the view part okay and components we have this we have the assets we don't require the components we have done app dot view where we have customers add customer and search you can see that router link for the mic uh, for like you can see that uh, migrate from one tab to another so this is for the routers nav bar you can see we have added and http common.js where we have all the rest apis okay we have you can see the base url is this one and con type type is application json so we are always uh, calling this uh, like http common.js so it will call this one and we are passing the whether it is customers get customers or add customers and we here we have main main.js with the entry point of it okay so router is there the router we have defined and the rest of the part in the router you can see that we have all the things and that is interconnected okay there is a pebble config that is already there okay so with this, this that's where we can add the call the api in the view js and render it and show the data accordingly and hit and call the rest apis using the uh, http common method with the help of the exiles and we can hit the api and get the data and insert the data accordingly <coughs> okay so that's it for now i hope you understand what we have to do with this uh, crud operations in the view js hi I hope you will like the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.